naturally we don't trust each other. Rather than trusting a company or an institution today, we can trust the code. If you think about how we interacted in the past between each other, we had governments and institutions like banks that facilitated any kind of interaction between us. Now the internet brought to us marketplaces. With the flip of a button, I can get into the car of a stranger, or I can date someone that I don't even know. But still, there is a company between us. There's a single point of failure. There is a limit to the control that we have over our data. Blockchain takes us to the next level in terms of trust. It's able to eliminate that intermediary. The biggest problem with ICOs is actually a paradox that was created by regulators. Regulators created laws around securities that are meant to protect investors. And the reason I say it's paradoxical is because rules that are set out to protect investors actually work to their detriment as it relates to ICOs because ICO entrepreneurs or people that basically raise money for tokens are not allowed to give investors any kind of information or any kind of indication that they're going to do anything to create value for them. So I think we're, we're at a point uh, in blockchain where we're still in very early stages, but there is uh, already significant awareness and it feels like the world is waiting for blockchain to happen. People today are scared of blockchain because they don't understand it yet and they don't understand yet necessarily the importance. It's very natural because at this day and age we're hearing a lot about blockchain, but it hasn't really influenced our life in any positive way. Once we start seeing real live applications, products that actually improve our lives, then people are going to be much more positive about the technology and much more willing to embrace it. Bill Gates said once very nicely that in terms of technology, we tend to overestimate adoption and underestimate the impact that the technologies will have on our lives. I mean, if you think about the amount of time it took until we actually saw applications on the smartphones and started using them and adopting them versus the impact it had on our lives, it's going to take time until the technology is good enough, mature enough, and established enough for people to use it. But once it does kick in, it's going to be as revolutionary as the internet.